One of my favorite things since going to culinary school is mushrooms. So I created this beef, barley, and mushroom soup recipe. The beef is so tender, the mushrooms are so delicious, and it is going to warm up anybody's winter day. So let's get started. Oh my goodness, and my dog, he just, my dog Brighton just has to like talk right now. We're not talking, we're not, not talking to you. Oh my goodness. Well, the first thing I have to do, I'm gonna try and make this video with this dog going crazy. Let's start by taking the bottoms off of my mushrooms. The, just that little end part, it's just a little bit woody and like not very tasty. So these are cremini mushrooms. I just find they have more flavor. And did you know that cremini mushrooms are literally just portobello mushrooms that are smaller? True story. I'm just thinly slicing here so they get nice and crispy. I used to hate mushrooms, you guys. Hate until I went to culinary school and I learned how to make them properly. And I was like, these aren't those mushrooms from a can I was having in Ohio. Right when we start this soup, I'm gonna cook the barley. Now you can totally cook it on the stove top, but I have a rice maker, so I just threw it in the rice maker. So I did four cups of water to one cup of barley, a little bit of salt, and you're good to go. I'm just gonna set it and forget it, and that will be ready for me when I am ready for it. For the beef part of this beef and barley soup, I'm actually using oxtails. They have amazing gelatin and marrow that make your sauce absolutely delicious. To get those ready, I'm gonna dry them really, really well with a paper towel, and then I'm gonna salt them with kosher salt. I use diamond crystal kosher salt. It just is my favorite, and it's literally in every nice kitchen I've ever been in is what they have. And then we're gonna heat a little bit of canola oil. I use canola oil because it actually has a higher burning temperature than like an olive oil. Now my oil is really nice and hot. I'm going to put several of these oxtails in. Now I don't want to crowd the pan because I don't want to steam the meat. If I steam it, I am not gonna get golden brown. Check it at two minutes. If it's going well, you can turn it. And I like to brown all the sides so I get that delicious caramelization. Look at this color. Are you kidding me? Yum! Once those are all nice and golden brown, it took me about two batches to do this. Now I'm gonna put in my vegetables. So this is my carrots, leeks, celery, and onion all together. I wanna to get some really nice caramelization on this and get them nice and golden brown as well. And then once these are done, I wanna add my garlic. I didn't put my garlic in in the beginning because it would be absolutely burned by now. So put the garlic in just until it's fragrant. Now that the vegetables are browned, I'm going to add 10 cups of beef stock. Now I made this beef stock, but you could also use store-bought. It is time to add the meat back to the pot. All right, while our soup simmers away, I'm going to go ahead and saute these delicious mushrooms. Once the barley was cooked, I just added it to the soup just so all the flavors could kind of meld. Okay, everyone, that simmered for about two hours. This kind of stuff is the only reason it should ever be cold outside, besides skiing. <laughs> okay, so then I've got some of my mushrooms here. And I just minced up a little bit of parsley just for a little pop. Oh my goodness, I think it's all gonna be worth it. Mmm. Mmm. You guys, try this soup. Leave a comment. Thumbs up for more. I'll see you next Friday.